Okay, ready. Okay, Skabitam on Shanti Town, day two on the International Ska Festival in London. We are here with the loafers. Maybe you can introduce yourself uh, to the listeners. Hello, my name's Trev, I play the bass in the loafers. Oh yeah, I'm Nash and I'm the drummer. Uh, did you enjoy uh, the evening? Yeah, yeah, it was great. I was a bit kind of nervous because we haven't played for like over 20 years. So okay. It's the first time. Before, okay. So. Okay, yeah, I think uh, everyone danced, so I think it was su successful. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. The, the Laughing Loafer was the turning point, I think, for me. <laughs> that, yeah. was when, that was when the, the, sort of the crowd yeah. got into it then. Yeah. Thought, sod it, we're going to have a bloody skank. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no, I think it was alright, but uh, the question is, uh, will it be the first uh, in 20 years or and the last one or what uh, have you planned uh, for the next future yeah, will you I think we're, the only one there's only one plan it was all it building up for this festival yeah, yeah. so okay I um, think maybe in the 22 years we'll do another one yeah. <laughs> how did that come that you played here ah, Sean. Sean the festival organizer yeah. is in the locals, so. okay <laughs> just asking you said okay all right yeah oh, you know he's, he's the promoter of the gig yeah. right the keyboard player yeah, he's the, he's, he put the whole show on. Yeah, yeah, okay. He, uh, and, and you had uh, the energy and, and said, okay, we do it uh, what we did 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. 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 Is that easy as like, that? Uh, first of all, I said, what, why, who wants to listen to it? Yeah. <laughs> sure, so no, lots of people. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, what, are you, what have you done in the past 20 years? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Stayed, well, I dug a big pit in a uh, big hole in the ground. Come on, come on, no, 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 no. Now we play. Now, that's now playing a band called Big Boss Man, like a Hammond organ funk right. band. Probably. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, they do a thing called the Bongolian, which is uh, sort of a Hammond organ sort of funk okay. and stuff. Okay. It's, just, uh, it's like Blow Up Records is the record company. Okay. It's like a 60s. Yeah. Kind of also, we did um, a thing called Prince Fatty a little yeah. while ago. Right. Like, uh, okay. Yeah, that's like nice. a reggae thing. Okay. Just did it in the yeah. studio and then. Okay. So we've always done music, you know. Yeah. 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 You're a professional musician, so. Well, we work part time as well, you know, to kind yeah. of. Uh, do like make two, it up two, two days a week for. Uh, like another job, yeah, and then we have five days just to yeah. do music, yeah. So it's, yeah. it's quite good, yeah. yeah. So a bit, bit more as, as a passion, yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, you said about your other projects. Um, have you plans to come over to the continent or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we toured. We, we, we toured in Germany with Big Boss Man. Yeah. Okay. A few times. And, um, yeah, like last year in June we played. At, um, Beat the first, clock. Yeah, Beat the Clock in um, Cologne. Okay, it's the 60s festival. You know? yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. And uh, coming back to the old days, yeah. uh, can you tell us something uh, would have maybe would have changed uh, to the evening tonight, or if was it completely the same? Or yeah, it's the same lineup, same song. So yeah, it's the same, 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 but just a bit slower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And, uh, what, could you say something about the audience? Uh, have they, I think uh, they're grown up with you guys. Really, yeah, so. most of them are older than we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but they're still coming. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just turned 40 last week. <laughs> most of the audience are 50. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, and uh, maybe uh, about the loafers in the, uh, in the past. Uh, have you some special stories? Uh, what uh, the craziest thing happened uh, when you were touring at these old days? Uh, ooh, well, there's not, lots of things happened really. I don't know whether we can mention them on, <laughs> on uh, radio. I, uh, that's what everybody said. One but, of the best things is we got um, Brad, the drummer on the specials, to produce our album. So that was really cool. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, and we, we worked with uh, Laura Aitken for a couple of years. Yeah. yeah. The Godfather yeah, and Scars. Yeah, yeah. So like, those are the great things for us to do. Yeah, you know? we used to support all these great guys like Des Decker and yeah. all that. So that was okay. the best thing is meeting people like that. Yeah, of course. You know, all, you know, drinking drugs and sex. <laughs> yeah, of course. That, yeah. You know, yeah. It wasn't much sex, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for the uh, interview. Yeah, yeah.